Hey guys, welcome to my travel vlog. So while I was in the Atlanta airport, I saw these lunch boxes. It is so nostalgic. I used to have one as a kid and I just absolutely loved it. I wish I still had it. But this was my travel to my home, Belize. Two things I wanted to do while I was home. I wanted to go to Placencia, Belize and San Pedro Island. I had never been to Placencia, so this was a first. My first weekend, me, my parents and my cousin and aunt we all went down to Placencia, Belize. It was quite a road trip. It is about two and a half to three hours away from Belize city itself. This little peninsula was so beautiful. There are beautiful homes. There are beautiful resorts. The beach was beautiful. I just felt like I was not in Belize, surprisingly. So this was definitely an unexpected experience and I did enjoy the drive once we got into the Placencia village. There is a place called Publix here, which is a big grocery store, which is kind of funny because I also have a Publix here. I live in Florida, so that's what we have. Ours, of course, is not the same as theirs, but I just thought that was kind of funny. There is an airstrip that you can fly into this um, village. Instead of driving, you can get it straight from the airport, obviously, to Placencia. We went to Wendy's restaurant for lunch. First lunch in Placencia. Got some chicken fajitas. Then we headed to the popular Tutti Fruity where they had amazing gelato. Definitely give them a try. I recommend trying the soursop flavor. So good. We stayed at the Serenade Hotel. It was affordable, clean, good AC, and pretty central. Hey guys, we are finally here in Placencia. I hope you can hear me with all the wind. If not, this is all in vain, but I'm not going to keep talking. Let's just go and check it out. I will say I wasn't too carried away with the sand at this beach because I just felt it was a bit hard to walk in because it almost felt like tiny little micro pebbles, which I kind of prefer more of like the white sandy beach that has like the really soft, fine sand. So these ones were not as fine but it was still beautiful we walked around the town we checked out different shops there's so many restaurants coffee shops there's so many places to go you can't go hungry here and we saw the fishermen when they brought in fish cleaning them pretty neat experience and kind of gross <laughs> Belize just got up it's about just after nine I can do like a quick mini room tour we are staying at the serenade hotel in Belize I mean in Plasencia it's a little messy because we've been sleeping but literally you have a little mini fridge a double bed a little chair TV and in the bathroom tiny closet we are gonna go find some breakfast our families have already found breakfast so we're gonna go meet them this vlog will probably be kind of like all over the place because i just haven't been feeling the best but now it's time to go eat we're coming to detach for get it detach attach <laughs> come here for breakfast this morning it is a nice humid morning but a bit breezy since I've got the ocean right over there so let's go see what kind of food they got and I see our our victims that we're going to see sitting right here in this corner I had a stuffed fry jack, which is its traditional breakfast item in Belize. It had ham, egg, and cheese. So good. You can definitely add more to it, but you gotta try it. We saw this place when we drove in called Chill Point, and we said we definitely need to come back. So me and my cousin came back and we got a muffin and some coffee unfortunately the power had just went out so we couldn't get any hot coffee 
but we were able to get some cold drinks it's definitely a really nice cafe you can go and work chill whatever you want to do next door was the placenta beach club where you can go and play volleyball they had lounge chairs so you can order food so you can literally go there to spend a day at the beach damn how many pounds you got there so far 60. It gets bigger so after breakfast we had a few hours at the beach then we went back to the hotel to get ready came back out to tipsy tuna for dinner um, we also went to previously order fish which you have seen in the previous clip because my mom wanted to order some fish to take home which we did and then we had some tacos or i had some tacos at tipsy tuna salted caramel and sour sap from Tutti frutti. So our final morning before we left, we went to Brisa's Tapas for breakfast. They do serve a buffet style or you can order individual food. I had ordered a stuffed fry jack again, but it had a bunch of onions and I'm not an onion fan. So I ended up trading with my dad and I just had individual little fry jacks with beans and eggs. After breakfast, we made the trek back home and I spent the next couple days just doing family life things um, with the fam, of course. And I didn't do anything until the following weekend, which you will see in just a minute. We went to San Pedro, Belize. I will say Placenta is a very small town, so there wasn't a whole lot to do other than eat, drink, go to the beach. So I definitely recommend if you are looking for somewhere chill, you, this is another option for you besides Key Cocker. But if you are looking for something with a bit more activity, I would say hit up San Pedro. So this day we did a little driving around Belize City. We went to the Belize Sun, we saw the lighthouse, we went to the downtown area, and we also went to this place called Dabari for lunch. I believe they say Dabari is how you say it. And it's a quick place. They can do buffet style or uh, made to order. So you have different options there. It's the second, no, it's actually the fourth floor of this store. And here we have the beautiful view of the Belize River. I love this view. in the city we did a little more shopping i bought some earrings we went to go get a sandwich for my mom we got the sandwich made at brody's which is one of the bigger supermarkets in belize it is all over the country this one is right in the heart of downtown and the jewelry shop i went to was called medina's which is practically across the street from the store this is kind of like a department they have groceries they have home um, just everything that you can think of so it's a department store they do have other just grocery stores um, in different areas as well So as you guys know, I'm originally from Belize, so every time we go, there are certain things that we take care of. So this required us going to the capital, which the next day, that's what we did. We drove to Belmopan, which is about an hour or an hour and a half away from Belize City. I also happened to spot the Prime Minister while having lunch at one of the little market vendors. He was walking across the parking lot, so I did see him, not up close, but just enough to be able to recognize him. And finally, island time. I finally made it to my final weekend in Belize and we went to San Pedro Island. I typically go to Key Cocker. If you guys heard me mention it earlier, Key Cocker is one of the more relaxing, chill, laid back islands, whereas San Pedro is the opposite. It's very busy. There's a lot of golf carts, there are cars, there's a lot of people everywhere. But I haven't been in a while and I wanted to just experience it again. But I know next time I'm definitely going to take it slow and go to Key Cogger. I just have to say the waters here are just absolutely beautiful. The turquoise, clear. It is just so stunning. We have made it to We stayed at the 
Tropical Palace Hotel, which is about 45 minutes driving to Secret Beach. It is a good 15-20 minutes to get to the water taxi. Um, I will say it's a pretty good location. The rooms are nice. There is nice AC. Again, your amenities is typical. Your bathroom, shower. I will say they are lacking as far as like little things here like a towel rack or like a little shelf to put yourself in the bathroom. So there are little things that I would say they could improve on, but overall it was a nice stay. Very friendly service here. The staff was super friendly. They had a nice pool that I did not get to try, but it looked amazing. And it's close to different things also that you can walk to. It's about like 10 minutes from the Alaya um, Hotel, which is a really like fancy, super nice hotel. But Overall, I enjoyed my stay here and I would definitely stay again. So as I mentioned earlier, Secret Beach is about 45 minutes driving via golf cart. Um, you definitely get to see a view of San Pedro and the beautiful waters. You get to see a lot of people, shops, everything. And the final stretch of getting to Secret Beach is a little bit different because it's literally a gravel road that has a bunch of trees and like little mini lakes which is all connected to the ocean but it kind of looks a little bit like sketch but it is underdeveloped at this point there is a lot of development happening and so everybody can get a piece of the island um, but eventually this will all be filled up in the next several years I'm sure but it is quite of a drive, especially when it's super hot, but it is definitely worth visiting. There's no charge. They have bartenders who come up to you. You can order food, drinks. There are like little rental tubes. There's a slide on the other side. There's like just so much that you can do here. So definitely check it out. made it to Secret Beach in Ambergris Key, San Pedro, Belize, and this is one of the most beautiful locations. I think it's like one of my favorite places. My favorite key is Key Cocker, but this one is definitely um, really nice, really chill spots. Both islands are great. The other is my favorite, but I don't know. This one's kind of climbing up there with Key Cocker. After spending several hours at the beach, we finally decided to head back, but on the way we stopped at the new truck stop, which is a new chill spot to get food, drinks, hang out, relax, ice cream, play games. So it has a lot of different things that you can do and it's very popular. They even have like movie nights if you live there or you're there long enough to enjoy that. But that is something that seems very fun and very chill so we stopped by grab a bite some ice cream before we headed back to our hotel so later that 
night we went to Maxi's for dinner. They definitely have really good food. I think everyone enjoyed everything that they got. My food was absolutely delicious. I got pasta, of course, I love pasta. But if you can visit this place, I would highly recommend having dinner or lunch here. It is two stories, it is very live, it's very happening, and it's so fun. <laughs> Woke up, packed up, and headed for the water taxi to return back to Belize City. We only spent two nights in San Pedro, but I had so much fun. And this is pretty much the end of my trip because the next day is Monday, and this is my travel day back home, which I was happy to go, but also sad to leave as always. But I had so much fun in Belize. If you've never been, I highly recommend visiting Belize. Make it a weekend trip, make it a week trip, whatever you want to do, check it out. Check out the islands. You will not be disappointed. I hope you enjoyed my journey with me to Belize and thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy travels.